Hi, today we will see how to integrate NGX Translate version 16 into Angular 19 project. The reason I'm mentioning this version is because there has been lots of change the way NGX Translate used to work with typical Angular project. So we will go through the changes required. I will try to implement a simple functionality where the login button text would change based on the language selected here, whether English or German. And let's get started. So I have my project set up and you can see the project version is Angular 19. Okay. And first thing we do is we will install the packages. So let me install the ingest translate core and HTTP loader. So we can see in the changes, I have the version 16 installed for the ingest translate. And the next step would be to configure the HTTP loader. So now I will open app config here. In the earlier version of Angular, you would have gone to the app module, func app module file and you would set up the translate module. But in the new version, there is a change. So first thing we need is let me provide HTTP client. And then I need to provide the translate module. So normally you do something like translate module dot for root and then you specify loader and everything, right? But in the newer version, you don't have to do that. You have to say provide translate service and here you can specify the loader so here i will specify loader and the loader will take provide oh, sorry. it would be translate loader and i will say use factory i will not take this one i will just take my http factory code from here and let's import so first thing we need to import this somehow it's not resolving the path so let me copy the path here http provide service should come from http translate core so i have got this imported use factory is a function that i need to write so let's write that function on top of the comp this configuration so what we're trying to say is like uh, we want to use http from common library so import it and we need this http loader so let's import http loader from the http loader so as you can see we imported two packages core and loader okay and since we are going to load the translation file dynamically we are using the http client and that is why we specify in the dependency that before initializing this dependency http client should be provided and that is why we need to provide first HTTP client and mention the dependency here. Okay, the next change which is very important is in earlier version you would have assets folder and you would create like a folder called i18n and inside that you would have your translation file like en.json and de.json. But starting Angular 19, you do not keep those into, let me remove the earlier folder, empty folder. You do not create into asset, there is no asset folder, but there is a public folder. So if all the assets should go into public folder. So let me put this folder into public and remove the asset folder I manually created. So now I have the two translation files, which are currently empty. Let me put some, keys here so i will just add a login text which would be login.title and both keys are same values are different based on the language here okay so what we did so far we have configured the translation module in the app config and with that we should be able to access the translation into the component so first thing we need to set the language so to set the language, what we need to do is we need to specify the translation. So let me add a constructor here. I would say private 
translate translate surveys yeah and import it from package yep and the first thing is i need to set translation here like translate dot set translation and here i have to do something different here here i would say import the translation from these files the one i just defined here and i will specify them into the set translation so here i would say set translation here then en is there then i will put de and since this is private let me mark it as this dot translate translate service and here i need to specify key so for english i need to use english translation file and for de i need to use de translate file and i would set up the default language which would be in, that would be english so i got my default language here cool so far so good and now we can go to html part in html i can i have this two option here en and de let me add a click handler here where i would say change length and i will pass key here let me copy the function and pass it here let's define the function here i would say public change okay oh, good and here it would be simple like i would just say translate.use and i will the parameter i'm passing i will set it here with this i should be able to set the language here and you can see my application is not running so let me start application recompile and we do not see translation because we are still using the plain text here so to use translation we need to apply translate by and since you are using translate by you need to import it so let's import the translate pipe and this is another change in angular 19 earlier you would import translate module dot for child into your feature component this would be the typical code for your lazy loaded com feature com routes in earlier version but in angular 19 you would say just pipe or directive based on how you are using it and now uh, let's see so we have got change language let's go here change language is here we are passing english this should be de for german and now let's see what we are missing here so let's go and check our translation files how did we define translation we have this structure where there is a key called login which is an object and it has a property title same goes into the german language file login.title so we need to change our key here saying login.title so this is a nested one you can go flat structure as well but it is recommended to use this nested structure so here is a login object it has a child object title so i'm going with login.title and now let's try to change it and you can see language is changed so here is english go to german and we're done cool thank you